It's another beautiful Sunday morning in Arizona, but this is a special Sunday morning. It is Father's Day. We are at the picturesque Camelback Golf Club designed by architect Jason Straka playing the Ambiente course. Welcome to the Father's Day Match for a Cause, a special edition of Match Play with Ray Adams. And now, your host, Ray Adams. I'm excited to introduce the Father's Day Match for a cause. And today with me are the father-son teams of Kirk Triplett and his son, Sam, and of course, Tom Lehman and his son, Thomas. Nothing else needs to be said about these two great PGA Tour champions. Many, many wins, many victories. Uh, three Ryder Cups for Tom Lehman, a President's Cup for Kirk Triplett. He was also captain of a Ryder Cup. Our format today here at Camelback Golf Club is going to be a Ryder Cup best ball format as well. And our on-course co-host with me today, I'm excited to have Jill Manstreit, LPGA professional from her company Versatile Golf, out helping us. Gentlemen, best wishes to both teams, father, son, father, son, the layman's and the triplets. Go have a great match, and we're gonna be with you every step of the way. You're right, Ray, and the real winners today will be two local charities. The Laymans are playing for Elevate Phoenix, committed to creating life-changing relationships for urban youth. The Triplets are playing for Phoenix Rescue Mission, providing Christ-centered, life-transforming solutions to people facing hunger, homelessness, addiction, and trauma. So we're really excited to be here at Kelmback Golf Club on number two of Ambiente. This is a pretty special hole, guys, so get ready for it. We have a closest to the pin from Integrity RV, thousand dollars guys Love let's it. get into it good luck All right. All right. hole number two is a 194 yard par three with a bunker front right and on the left with a grand on the line i'm guessing these guys will be going pin hunting let's see what happens tom layman has the honors mm. up next thomas Now it's the triplets turn. Kirk will start us off and that one looks good on Shot Tracer. Thank you. And finally, it's Sam's turn. And this one looks really good too. Looks good there too. All right, good. Go in the hole. Sit. What about for hole in one? Sit. Oh, go in. Wow. Not bad. Nice shot, guys. Nice. Thank you. Where's Great job. Guys? Thomas missed the green, but I'd say that's a pretty good cleanup on aisle two. Team Triplet now with a chance for birdie. Oh, it went left. Holy smokes. That next one's good in my book any day. Nice par. That is and it was good enough for the win. Congratulations, Sam Triplett. What a great shot off the tee here at number two, close to the pin, and a thousand dollars. What yeah. club did you hit there? Uh, I hit a seven iron. It's 183 yards, kind of a perfect seven iron for me. So. 183 yards, a perfect seven iron. Sam Triplett, and he was within about what about four feet from the cup. Wins a thousand dollars. Congratulations. Thanks, Ray. The third hole is a long par five. The guys will have to watch out for those bunkers on the left. Straight too far to the right, though, and they'll find the desert. I'm sure all four of these guys will be going for the green in two, but if you go even just a bit offline, say hello to the kitty litter. The layman's will lead things off. Oh, Thomas went after that one, but it looks like it's heading a little right. Kirk still got that silky smooth swing. Let's Good check job. in on the triplets using our cart cam. So when would have been the first time you played with Mr. Lehman? Gosh, I think we, well, we were playing the we were playing the mini tours. There was an old tour. It started out in the south called the TPA tour, and we were playing in Savannah, Georgia, I think, and at this course it might have called, been called the Sheraton. It was a big resort, and we played together in the last round there. It was like you know you'd have 200 guys and. Uh, everybody putting up 500 bucks and there's your hundred thousand dollar purse but right. I just it was a cold windy day and I'll never forget the shot he hit on the last hole he 
into a hard wind. I think nobody else in the group could even reach the green in two. It's a long par four. And he gets out there and just hits these two BBs, a low draw, a drive, and then hits a one iron to about two feet. And I just thought to myself, wow, I, I've never seen anybody that can hit it like this. And you know, sure enough, what a career he's had. Yeah, definitely. Good one. So Sam, we're just kind of catching up here midway during this father-son match. So how did the father-son partnership start with you and your dad? Did he have to drag you out or were you running and chasing after him to the golf course? No, I was a big sports fan growing up. So I just wanted to get out, whether it was baseball or golf or whatever, I wanted to get out, get out there every day. Uh, so me and my twin brother, we were both wanting to go to the range, wanting to play holes. So it was pretty easy early on. And then how old were you when you finally beat your dad or have you beat him yet? I was, I was 17. We were okay. playing up north. I shot 68 to beat him by a couple. And oh. Yeah, it's one of those rounds. Uh, I always remember each shot I hit because yeah. it was pretty exciting. Was he happy about it or was he, was he like, yes, he finally did it? Or kind of like, uh-oh, I got to get to the range that doesn't happen all the time. It was one of those rounds where I played good. So I think okay. he, he was happy that Proud it finally Papa. happened. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah. Well, great. We're excited to see the two of you play together. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Over on the other side of the fairway. Oh, boy. I'm guessing that was not the line that Thomas had in mind off the tee. Great shot there, Thomas. I know you're a prominent player on the Outlaw Tour, which yeah. is uh, organizing this event today. Growing up with a three-time Ryder yeah. Cupper yeah. and a captain of a Ryder Cup, what have you learned about match play golf? Um, well, I mean, I've learned a lot. Just I've played. In, I used to play in some uh, match play amateur events growing up, and obviously watching him play playing. I mean, watching coverage or footage from him playing Ryder Cup, and him just talking to him when he caddies for me. I learned. I've learned a lot, and just you know, I. I guess the most important thing is just like you never, never being out of the hole no matter what. Um, you know, maybe, you know, sometimes pars can win holes and it just, you always got to keep, keep, you know, stay in, stay in the game. Up at the green, Kirk found himself Whoa. in the bunker Whoa. and that one's not going to stop. Fast, smooth greens are not for the faint of heart. Thomas clearly listened well to his father, stayed in the hole, and this putt is from eight way, feet birdie, for Thomas. birdie. Well done. Thank you. Not to be outdone, Kirk still got a chance to tie him, and he does. Imagine that. Kirk triplet made a putt. That's so it all new. comes down to this. Tom Lehman with a right to left breaker. Did he read it right? Thank you. Two beats one. We'll get back to the action after these messages. I think it's important to start your day by getting your energy flowing and your body ready. That's great, but some days I need more. If you want to be great at something, it takes hard work and focus. Other times, I want more. There's nothing better than finding time to slow down for a meal with family and friends. Is there a chance of even more? It's absolutely amazing when you can sit around a fire to finish off the day. I'm so glad I found a place for all my mores. Quality products at a fair price. What's the difference between good and great? Good treats you like a customer. Great treats you like a friend. From saving your haircut details and clip notes to saving you time with online check-in, Great Clips makes your life easier, just like a great friend should. Great Clips, it's gonna be great. What's the difference between good and great? Good tries to get it right every time. Great actually does. With Clip Notes, we save your haircut details so you always get exactly the look you want. Great Clips, it's gonna be great. Phoenix youth face barriers daily that prevent them from transitioning into well-adjusted young adults. Many face poverty, family instability, and much more. The longer these youth go without help, the less likely they are to become successful adults. The Elevate Phoenix model has proven effective in changing these trends and transforming the lives of our city youth. So we invite you to join us to elevate our future leaders. Do you like to 
I love Tour Edge. This is seriously high tech. And they're long, right, Duff? Built in the USA? Oh, I love that. I need forgiveness. Did I mention these puppies are long? Really long. You know why I love Tour Edge? It's because I win with it. Pound for pound, nothing comes close. Welcome back to the Father's Day Match for a Cause. The fifth hole in Ambiente is a true risk-reward special. The par four is only 328 yards, but if you get too aggressive, you bring the water into play on the right, and there's a bunker green side that could be a pain in the, well, you know where. Pull it left and there's three bunkers you'll have to contend with. So I guess the question is, are you feeling lucky? These guys, they don't need luck. With swings like these, they make their own. If you can take anything away from this Father's Day match for a cause, try to remember what these swings look like and take it with you to the range. Smooth, easy, under control. And if you get in a jam, take a deep breath and trust your swing. You can see a lot of Kirk's game when Sam's on the course. Let's find out if he'll be copying anything else from his father's game. Okay, so Kirk, you have had your signature bucket hat with you for almost the duration of your tour career. Yeah. So now Sam, the question everybody wants to know, are you going to get into the bucket hat? Are you going to stick with the lid? Or are you going to have your own signature item to go with you? I think I'm going to leave the bucket hat for him. I don't need to step on his toes or anything. So I'll figure out something along the way, but I'm open for suggestions right, too. Just make sure you keep those ears with some good SPF. Yeah, exactly. All right. Tom, I know you have a lot of great memories from being out on the tour over the years, especially with your family, being with you on so many different occasions. Give me one such uh, event time that Thomas was with you that tells the folks about your relationship mm -hmm. with your son. You know, we've, we traveled a lot together, uh, the two of us, when he was younger. And, uh, you know, we have four kids, and so most of them may be home with the other ones, and I'd take Thomas. And so if, as an example, I remember teaching him how to hit bunker shots at the K-Club. He learned how to play out of the bunkers at the K-Club in Ireland when he was about nine or eight years old. Uh, but I think most of my real best memories have to do with he and I together at St. Andrews. Mm. Um, I remember one year, uh, I think it was it was uh, 2005, so he had been just not quite 10. He's nine years old, and it was a terribly, terrible day. It got cold and rainy and crappy, and uh, we were way out in the end of course number 11, and we were staying at the old course hotel, and I just said, look, there's the hotel. Just just go back to the hotel and get out of the, and get out of the weather. So you kind of let my nine-year-old on his own. This is during a tournament round, by the way make his way back to the hotel and by the time we got to 17, the road hole, it, it turned into a beautiful day and I remember looking up in the window and there he was up in the window watching me hit the seven iron to about two feet on the road hole okay? oh. and then he, then he came down and then walked in with me but uh, I mean just you know little things like that. I mean there's you know the big moments he caddied at the senior uh, open championship at St. Andrews a couple of years ago which yeah. was a, a really a lot of fun but just you know the little memories of uh, of uh, you know, caddying for him at the little Wee Demon course at Loch Lomond after the rounds at the Scottish Open every year, we go play the little executive course. And, and uh, so those are the things that I remember. Great stories from the tour with the Laymans. Wow, you aren't kidding, Ray. What a great story and memories those two will never forget. Up next, the sixth hole, a 448 yard par four. This is the toughest hole on the course, and you have to find the fairway. And right center will give the guys the best chance to attack this back right pin placement. The green is wide, but not that deep. And there's plenty of trouble if you're a little offline from T to green. Not a problem for Team Lehman. Oh. Kirk's tee shot looks like it's going a little right. That could be a problem, but not when Sam's backing you up. Thanks. Uh-oh, Kirk found his ball, and at least he found some shade. Yep. Okay. Yep. Ah. 
Got a, found a ball with my IQ on it. What's the number? Double zero. <laughs> Isn't technology great? Do you remember the days when we used to look for sprinkler heads to get a yardage? With the right number, Tom likes this one. In my Saturday game, those two putts for Team Lehman are good. I just wish mine were that close. Well, and for birdie. So with Team Lehman in tight, the triplets need some kind of miracle to put the pressure on. Kirk from 30 feet. Wish. It is good. Easy wow, game. Wow, what a putt. Easy game. That's a good par. Thank you. But at the end of the hole, it didn't matter. Tom drains the gimme to win the hole. Yeah, great three. Situation normal, just getting my butt kicked by Tom Lehman. <laughs> Only been happening since 1985. The seventh hole is a 593 yard par five that would bring us mere mortals to our knees and should provide quite a challenge for our pros. With desert down the right side and more bunkers than I can count on the left, accuracy off the tee is going to be critical. They'll want to stay right, but not too far right, to give themselves the best chance to be aggressive and get on in two if they want to risk it. We had to move back from Thomas because, well, I have a feeling he's going to let the shaft out on this one. We were right, but he is keeping a close eye on that one. Tom didn't jump out of his shoes, but the result is similar. Hmm, I wonder if there's a lesson to be learned there. Not to be outdone, Good Team job. Triplet right. looks like they're up to the challenge. None of our players were able to get home in two. No real surprise there. But with a front pin placement barely on the green, these shots will test your nerves and then some. Tom comes up a little short, and that's going to roll back down the hill. Kirk's got the number dialed in for sure. Sam was in the long, and I mean long grass, but it didn't seem to bother him too much. That's a great shot. Thomas did OK, too, and he had a tough angle coming in. His dad did even better, but he's line four. Sam's only got six feet left for birdie, and he bangs it in. Kirk had a chance to tie him, but he's going to miss that one on the low side. We'll get back to the action after these messages. In the folded flag, we see the heavy price of freedom. Nearly nine out of 10 dependents of America's fallen and disabled soldiers do not qualify for federal scholarship assistance. The Folds of Honor closes that gap. Join us in this noble mission. Donate today at foldsofhonor.org. This is your call to duty. Do you like Tour Edge? I love Tour Edge. This is seriously high tech. And they're long, right, Duff? Built in the USA? Oh, I love that. I need forgiveness. Did I mention these puppies are long? Really long. You know why I love Tour Edge? It's because I win with it. Pound for pound, nothing comes close. Introducing the Putting Stroke Teacher Training Aid. The Putting Stroke Teacher helps the better player, the PGA Tour player, the, the pro that wants to get out on tour, because the first thing it's gonna do is get these forearms lined up square and your shoulders lined up square. And that's the thing my dad and I worked on when I led the tour in putting, and it's the thing I'm constantly checking today to make sure that those are lined up 
and that's going to really affect the path that the putter head swings on. Very easy to set up. You just take two pieces, stick them together, put it on the end of your putter, two little Velcro straps, and boom, you're in, and you're ready to go. It's not big. It's very tiny. You can take it apart and stick it in your golf bag. Get the putting stroke teacher and make more putts. Order the putting stroke teacher today. Welcome back to the Father's Day Match for a Cause. The eighth hole is just a par three, but it's a beast. 234 yards to a small green with a pair of bunkers in front. Go long and you can kiss your golf ball goodbye, unless you want to venture into the desert to look for it. Mm -hmm. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Sam's looking <laughs> confident. Nothing That's tight right. about that Thank swing. You, Carry that corner. Certainly makes things easier for Kirk. He's leaning a little bit. We may have to watch that one. Mm -hmm. Up next is Thomas. And what a beautiful turn. Man, I wish I was that flexible. And here's Tom. Oh, Jay's Tom. Thomas is the first to putt. It looks good, but it's going to come up just oh. a bit short. Maybe one more biscuit for breakfast, and it might have gotten there. Tom's putt is going to be a big breaker from left to right. And watch as it gets closer to the hole. It's going to dive hard down to the hole. Yeah, good try. That's a good roll. And that means the team triplet has a chance to win the hole. Sam's putting for birdie from just under 30 feet. And our crew's giving oh. you a great oh, look yeah. at wow. it. Wow. What nice. a good putt. putt. Thanks. Pretty sweet there. Kirk has a chance to add another birdie to the board, but his putt Turn just it. hangs uh, on the high side. Right. The final hole on the front nine is a 431 yard par four with all sorts of trouble. Bunkers on the left and desert on the right. This drive will test your nerves for sure. And while there's only one bunker short left, this green has more ridges than a Ruffles potato chip. A four here is a solid score. Kirk has the honors. Nice turn there. Beauty. They left. Sam's swing is so smooth. He makes it look so easy. And how about Tom? It's just automatic. Thank you. It looks like Thomas went after that one. And he's bird dogging it, looking for a member bounce. Oh, man. Well, he may need a member to help him find it in all that tall grass. OK, he's got it. We're good. Sam's choking down on that short iron, trying to dial in his number. Sit. Sit. Meanwhile, back in the jungle, Thomas is knee deep in it. Okay, I feel better. Finally, a shot that I'm familiar with. But I'd still be willing to bet you that he did better than I ever could. Okay, so the question I had for the triplet twosome here. So... I wanted to know if there was something special about your golf bags, what you bring to the course, what you must have. So Kirk, tell us about your special golf bag. <laughs> well, it was at the World Match Play down in Australia, uh, right around 2000. And uh, there was a guy with a booth and had the caricatures. And uh, uh, so I took a, a photo of the one that he had drawn a, of me. And then I was using it as like my Google, you know, oh, okay. uh, <laughs> sure. sign or whatever, right? And um, uh, uh, the girl at Ping, uh, Annette, who does all our bags and all our stuff, mm -hmm. she goes, I saw that on an email. I want to have that, you know, and put it on your bag. And uh, so she talked to me into it, and they redid the artwork on it. And, and you I said you've, a lot had, of comments it, you've about had it since it. 2000. It. Yeah, I've had it, you know, 12, 13 years yeah, at least. Yeah, it's done well yeah. for you. Yeah. All right, so tell us about your lucky item. No, like, special rabbit's foot, but you had something very special that you had to earn that's on your golf bag. Yeah, that's right. I went to school at Northwestern in Chicago, graduated a couple years ago. Uh, but to earn this putter head cover, you had to finish in the top 10 in a college event or else our coaches, you know, wouldn't give you one. So I played really good my senior year and uh, finished fourth at Stanford's event, earned that. So I Go get to... those Cardinal. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Great. So the ball is plugged in the side of this uh, lip here. It's pretty buried. So basically I'm just going to try to get super steep on it and just try to blast it out pretty hard here. So. Don't know if I can get it out though. <laughs> oh, 
All right. I got it out. Got it out. <laughs> Success. From just behind the green, Sam didn't have much to work with either, but that's still well played. Kirk is in a good spot in the middle of one of those ridges. This is makeable. Oh, it just slides by on the high side. And that means Tom's got to make this putt. He's not going to get it. All right, we've got a match that's all square in skins and all square in the score with the layman's and the triplets today at the father-son for a cause match. Stopping him on the green here, Thomas, um, we've seen this game of golf, and Tom, you especially, have seen the game of golf and the swing with the technology, the equipment and everything change over the decades of golf that I've watched and you've been playing into really a power game. It's almost, mm -hmm. it's almost like a driver in a wedge when you watch mm -hmm. these guys on yeah. tour, yeah. and they're so good. Yeah. What kind of mentoring and coaching has your dad, Tom, given you about the power game? Um, well, I'd say when it comes to that, I've always had, growing up, I, always, I play other sports, so I, you know, I, I've worked out quite a bit. I've always had power growing up, and I feel like it was never about you know, having more power. It was always about controlling it. And being, you know, more in control of your game, and just being able to be more smooth. And um, he was—he's been coaching me for a while, and he's not like a technical teacher, but he tells me, that, you know, like the basics of like you know rhythm and using your feet and knees. And I'd say that it's—it's it's been more important the past few years of learning how to hit my hit you know, better wedges and short game, and that on top of the power game really is what really helps in terms of in today's game with because everyone hits it so far now. Yeah. Quick word for the for the families with the kids or the kids that are watching the show today on getting them ready to play some golf in the power game world. Yeah, well, look at a few, um, what I can tell Thomas is if you can master three things, if you can master the driver, uh, and you've got to be able to hit it a long ways. If you can master the wedges and master the short stick, you know, those are the things, the putting, the wedges, the driver. If you can master those three clubs, you're going to probably do pretty well. Very good. From Tom Lehman and Thomas Lehman, young professional coming up on the tours. We'll get back to the action after these messages. What's the difference between good and great? Good treats you like a customer. Great treats you like a friend. From saving your haircut details and clip notes to saving you time with online check-in, Great Clips makes your life easier, just like a great friend should. Great Clips, it's gonna be great. What's the difference between good and great? Good tries to get it right every time. Great actually does. With Clip Notes, we save your haircut details so you always get exactly the look you want. Great clips. It's going to be great. They're called squares, and once you've played a round in them, you won't want to play another round in anything else. These completely new performance golf shoes will improve your stability and balance, and it's been proven in science. Balance equals power. There you go. To feel good and play my best, I wear squares. Now you can wear them too, just go to GetSquares.com to find out more. That's GetSquares.com. Welcome back to the Father's Day Match for a Cause. So Kirk, we're out here today with this Father's Day challenge, right. enjoying some golf, getting some competition, but there's also a charitable aspect since you're gonna be playing for Feeding Phoenix. Right. And the PGA Tour as a whole does a lot of charity work. So what does it mean to you to be able to come out, this is your job, this is your passion, but you also get to do a give back as well? Well, I think, you know, as a PGA Tour player, you get indoctrinated early into the structure of tournaments, uh, the, the basics of the way tournaments are fixtures in their communities and they, and they give back and support Definitely. the communities. Um, we talk about, oh, can you teach your son how to play golf or what can you teach him? Well, one of the things I can teach him is, to be a part of events like this. Absolutely. Right? So there's more to it than just the golf, especially as you become a professional. So, um, you know, Feeding Phoenix right now, all of the food banks, right, uh, this time, that's a struggle for people, yeah. putting food on the table. So we're excited to be a part of that and raise some money for them and hope that it makes a difference. Good, some good karma for the day too. Well, we all know that golf and charity go together and certainly the Laymans are playing for Elevate Phoenix. Jasmine Hall is the uh, development director for Elevate Phoenix. Yes. Jasmine, thank you so much for thank being you. here today and for the great things that Elevate Phoenix does for the kids. Tom, I know that this is near and dear to your heart and a real passion of yours. Tell me why about Elevate Phoenix. What is it about it? 
Well, there's a lot of kids uh, in, in Phoenix, all over the country, all over the world, but in Phoenix specifically, who really don't have a lot of opportunity. Uh, they have an uphill fight. You can call them disadvantaged, you can call them at risk, uh, whatever label you'd like, but the bottom line is, is that they, they need a help up. And Elevate Phoenix gives kids that help up. They give them hope in times when it's kind of hopeless. And so uh, uh, to me, it's, it's, it does, does a lot to change lives in Phoenix. Jay Hasman, give me the final word on Elevate Phoenix and what you see from a development standpoint. Well, you know, the awesome part is we have this fearless leader who is a leader by example and Tom Lehman, and he is literally the epitome of not only uh, integrity, um, tenacity, but hope. And he is why we labeled and coined phrase hope holders. We hold the hope for our students until they can hold the hope for themselves. And it's because of Tom and all of Elevate Phoenix's staff where we're impacting the lives of almost over 5,000 students who was once dropping out at 52%, able to graduate at 98% wow. and make a difference. Wow. All right, hole number 11 coming up. They're gonna be gunning for that $1,000 for charity. The 11th hole is a par three that isn't crazy long, but it can drive you crazy for sure. It's just a shade under 200 yards, but look at that green. Three tiers, and if you end up on the wrong one, you may end up with tears in your eyes. Good luck, guys. Team Lehman has the tee, and Thomas is going first. That one looks good. Mm. Up next, it's Tom's turn. That looks pretty good. Could be, no, could be class. So now Kirk's going to try and dial up something good with his shot. Let's see if Sam can find the correct tier on the green. All right, from just off the green, check out Kirk with the soft hands. All right, pretty tough putt. Out of way. Good putt, Thomas. Thanks. Sam, that's good. All right, we're at number 11 with the Laymans, and they have just won the close to the pin. Thomas, I guess it's pretty easy to win a close to the pin when the other three guys yeah. in the foursome didn't hit the green. Exactly. Yeah, it was, right. yeah, it was pretty pretty nice <laughs> having to hit it super close and win. Super tough putt, though. Yeah. You clutched it for the... Uh, for the par and congratulations. Now you're tied up, $1,000 for Elevate Phoenix. How do you feel? Oh, it feels great. I, you know, the first hole I didn't hit a great shot in there. I felt, you know, like I had to, had to get it come back. So I was able to, I'm glad I was able to, to get that one. All right, well, I know Elevate Phoenix is uh, grateful and happy and we're having fun out here. Yeah, that's yeah. it, yeah. thanks Ray, yeah. Good job. Thanks Ray. Let's jump forward to the 14th hole, the hardest one on the backside. This 580 yard par five is a monster with bunkers on the left, bunkers on the right. And if that's not enough, stray too far and you'll find yourself in some hard desert landscaping. Since getting home in two isn't likely, the guys will be better off laying up to a number they like to try and attack this pin, which is just over that bunker on the right. As we watch our pros teeing off, you can see they're going after it a little more, trying to get everything they can out of their drives. Tom likes that one with a little spin of the club. Fairway medals were the club of choice with their second shots. For Tom, he did exactly what we thought he would, laying up to a number he feels comfortable with. Same thing for Kirk, but I don't think he got all of it. Yeah, he came up just a little short, and now he's got to try and make it. Sam's got a tricky little putt here. It looks like it's going to move left, but it just never does. So that puts Team Layman in a great spot. Thomas from about Thank seven you. feet. Show away, me Thomas. the money, work, honey. Yeah, and now Tom to pour a little salt in the wound. Nice roll. Yeah, good, Very good. All right, the match is heating up. Father's Day is right around the corner, so 
I got a question. So the two of you obviously are each other's favorite playing partners. So I'm going to start with you, Dad. That's a big yeah. assumption right there. You guys seem to enjoy each other. So if you could add two more people to make the perfect foursome on Father's Day and play any golf course, who are you playing with and where are you headed? I, I think we have to ask our mom and my brother Connor. Oh, well, he's that. trained. Yes. Very um, nice. And we, our mom's favorite place is Hawaii, so somewhere there she'd be happy. Very smart. We'd all be happy. Okay. Well, I was going to go a different route. <laughs> I was going to go for Michael Jordan, but... Uh, <laughs> okay, so you, you got MJ. Who's your, who's your well, That's, uh, uh, I don't know, he's or probably big enough for yourself. two. So, um, Fair enough. But if we could bring anybody back, it'd be my dad. I'd play with my dad. So he loved the game and uh, showed us how to play it. And, uh, you know, I know he's up there watching us play right now. Absolutely. Especially like on a, a Father's time. Day. Absolutely. Yep. All right, guys, let's go to the next tee. Sounds Thank good. You. Thank you. Yeah, I think you yeah, just don't know that I, I don't, I'm not like a real technical coach for you, mm -hmm. but I give you, I think, things to think about, you know, like you're using your feet or, you know, moving your weight right or, yeah, yeah. or you know, you're becoming really good with the wedges or, yeah. Because you kind of, in a way, you're kind of a self-taught golfer, you know, because we really haven't given you a lot of technical instruction. Right? True. Yeah. We'll get back to the action after these messages. Here's a great golf solution called Grip Drive. It's simple and easy to use, saving you money and keeping your grips in great condition. For chip shots into the green, snap it on your putter to keep that grip dry. Grip Drive fits in the back pocket for easy access. Use our powerful magnet to snap onto your golf cart so it's easy to take to the green. Grip Drive provides a convenient ball marker that is always with you. When your grips are dry and in great shape, you'll simply play better. There is a place, unlike anywhere else on earth, where you can walk among red giants, where crystal streams double as the fountain of youth, a place where your spirit will soar and your heart will race, a place where you can become small and mighty all at once. Sedona, the most beautiful place on earth. Phoenix youth face barriers daily that prevent them from transitioning into well-adjusted young adults. Many face poverty, family instability, and much more. The longer these youth go without help, the less likely they are to become successful adults. The Elevate Phoenix model has proven effective in changing these trends and transforming the lives of our city youth. So we invite you to join us to elevate our future leaders. our course is playable also protects a diverse ecosystem of wildlife and it's all done by your golf course superintendent return the favor say thanks today do you like tour edge i love tour edge this is seriously high tech and they're long right duff built in the usa oh i love that i need forgiveness did i mention these puppies are long really long Pew. You know why I love Tour Edge? It's because I win with it. Pound for pound, nothing comes close. Welcome back to the Father's Day Match for a Cause. The match is heating up and the wind is picking up, which is bad news for our players as they make their way to the 16th hole, a 523 yard par five. There is trouble everywhere you look. Water on the right, a bunker in the middle of the fairway, more bunkers on the left. And then the closer you get to the green, the smaller the fairway gets. Folks, that's not an optical illusion. It's real, and it can ruin a team's chances in a hurry. So they'll have to be sharp with their short irons and hope for the best. The triplets have the tee. Thank you. And it sounded like Sam got all of that one, although he's watching it pretty closely. 
Thomas did the same, but he said he didn't quite catch it all. Maybe a groove low. No. No issues for Tom. He striped that one. Nice. Let's go down to Ray on the tee box. Thomas, can I have a quick word? Yep. Yep. Thanks. All right, Thomas, here we are at the 16th tee. You just hit a boom of a drive, but you guys are one down to the triplets. Yeah, yeah. What are you and your dad talking about? What are you two thinking? Um, I think right now the most important thing is just to you know keep the ball in play and just making sure we're hitting greens and you know just every everything every shot we have just make sure you fire at the right at the pins and just I mean just game plan kind of stays the same. I know that I've had a few errant errant tee shots that um, on, the, on the front nine that kind of lost us a few holes, but now that I'm hitting a little better, so I think we can get back going here. You feel good about it? I feel good. Yeah. All right. Great. You heard it. Tom with a solid fairway medal. Sam's drive found the bunker, but this isn't the time for playing it safe. He's also going with a fairway medal. He may not have gotten all of that one, and now he's left with an awkward sand shot for his third. Sam now from just off the green with a putter. He's got to be careful once. Thank you. Oh, yeah, got over that ridge, Thanks. and that's going to run away from him. Tom from six feet. How many years yeah, have well you seen him do that? Nothing but the bottom of the cup. And now Tom is from pretty much the same line, but his just didn't quite move as much and slides by. Yeah. So we're here with two of my favorite Toms. Yeah. We've Thank got you. a, of course. Yeah. So we've got a great Father's Day question. Okay, so we have a lot of your family. The layman's are fully spectated today. And we know that during your career, from your wife, all of your kids, even a son-in-law, have all caddied for you at one time or another. Yeah. Who has the best record? Well, that's, that's kind of hard to, uh, to quantify. Um, Lane, my son-in-law, is one for one. We won uh, with him on the bag, so he's, he's, never, a good record. he's yeah. never lost. <laughs> uh, I've won with my daughter, Rachel. Um, Sean and I have not won a tournament together, but we've done well as, as with Holly. Thomas probably has had the best finishes in the biggest tournaments. We've, a lot of the majors, we've yeah. done, you know, second, third, fourth. Nice. Yeah. In U.S. Opens and British Opens. You're a grinder. Like so yeah. so he hasn't won either, but he's had some great uh, finishes in great tournaments. So, and Melissa, you know, she was like the winning caddy twice in the Minnesota State Open. So uh, I guess if I really have to be honest and know where my bread is butter, I'm going to say Melissa gets the nod and everybody else is a close second. Very smart. Very <laughs> good. Very good. Thanks, guys. Good All luck. Right, We're right. finishing up. The 17th hole is a 445 yard par four that really screams out for a draw. If our pros can command that shot, they'll start it down the right side of the fairway and draw it back toward that bunker. But if they don't turn it over, their drives may roll down that slope, and that will be no bueno. On their approach shots, they'll have to avoid those green side bunkers to give themselves a good look at birdie. All right, folks, we're on the 17th tee. This match is exciting. It is all square between the father-son triplets and the father-son layman duos. They've been battling it out up and down and up and down, back and forth. However, the laymans are eight to seven, one up on the skins. Right, Kirk? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're turning to Kirk because he knows the score, along with Tove Peterson, who heads up the Outlaw Tour as well. So anyway, very quick question. What's your strategy, all square, going into the last two holes? Hit good shots, make birdies. <laughs> I don't Same know. strategy as all day. You can't expect the other team to give it to you. You have to go out and take it. Got to take it away. What about it? Uh, I'd say just, I guess, just stay aggressive and just attack every pin right, right now. That's yeah. And hopefully you have one shot lower than the triplets. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you heard it from the best. They're right here. Let's go. The triplets have the tee, and Kirk is up first. He and Sam both start off with great drives. Thanks. Thomas certainly isn't leaving anything in the tank. He went after that one. Tom steady as usual, although he's keeping an eye on it. While we head up the fairway, let's jump into the triplets cart and see what they're talking about. Yes. Like if, like if you didn't know they were a major champion. 
would I have noticed something different about playing with them? Right. I think with Ogilvy, it was more of a... Like, he wasn't taking golf as seriously at that point, so he wasn't, like, you know, in it. Right. But, like, the quality of shots he was hitting was very high. But then Lehman, Jansen, and Toms, they're all gamers. And even when they're just playing for fun, they, like, they had great control of their ball regardless. Yeah, they can't turn it off. No. You know all of these guys want to turn it on, especially now. Sam set himself up perfectly right in the middle of the fairway for his second shot. Kirk did the same thing. Thomas didn't get as much draw as he needed and he's playing from the first cut. Kirk came up just a little short. The wind may be playing a factor he's going to have to rely on those soft hands again. Sam was in the same boat, but when you have a short game like that, you are never go, out of the hole. Go. Good chip. Thank you. Thanks. Thomas had to scramble a bit, but he makes his way to the bar, so it all comes down to Tom. Who's gonna win this hole? Did you have any doubt? Yep. Me either. That's a birdie, and it's so nice, we should see it twice. Let's go back down to Ray, who is with our presenting sponsor. All right, the players are on the way, but I'm standing with our presenting sponsor of the father-son match for a cause uh, today with Tracy Tingyu from AZ Turf and More. Tracy, thank you so much. And I know that both charitable organizations thank you for really stepping up and becoming a presenting sponsor of this great event today. How did that come about? And tell me a little bit about that. Oh, absolutely. It's a, quite frankly, it's an honor. Uh, AZ Turf and More has been a company in the Valley that's uh, happy to help with charity, charitable causes at any time we can. And uh, this opportunity came about with my friend Tof uh, Peterson from the Outlaw Tour. and. Uh, when Tolf gave me the call, obviously got in contact with you, and we're happy to come out today, enjoy the beautiful weather, obviously some amazing golf that's going on. Yeah. So we're glad to be out here as a, as a presenting sponsor. All right, well, very good. Tracy Tingyu from AZ Turf and More, family owned, locally operated in the Phoenix Valley of the Sun area. Thanks so much again for being Absolutely a big right. sponsor of this father-son match for a cause today at Camelback Golf Club by Mary. All right, it's really heating up. So the layman's just took over the lead. We are one up going into 18. Skins are 10 to 7. It's going to be a good finish. We hope. <laughs> we'll get back to the action after these messages. Golf is your passion. You want to practice more. You want to play more. You want to improve, but you don't have time. Meet SkyTrack, golf's most convenient, affordable, professional grade launch monitor and simulator. Know your game and make your practice pay off with accurate real time feedback. Play some of the best courses in the world while providing hours of fun and enjoyment. More than a launch monitor, more than a simulator. It's the best of both. I didn't know how much this shoe could really help my golf swing. So it's like buying a new club. I'm really excited about going out and playing golf now and wearing these and, and having this experience with them. I'm kind of excited, I wanna go back out there. I think it's important to start your day by getting your energy flowing and your body ready. That's great, but some days I need more. If you want to be great at something, it takes hard work and focus. Other times, I want more. There's nothing better than finding time to slow down for a meal with family and friends. Is there a chance of even more? It's absolutely amazing when you can sit around a fire to finish off the day. I'm so glad I found a place for all my mores. Quality products 
at a fair price. Welcome back to the Father's Day Match for a Cause. With a cold one and a bite to eat in sight, we head to the finishing hole, a 462-yard par four. With this match so tight, the tee shots will be critical. Our pros must end up on green grass because an errant tee shot here could be costly. Team Lehman has the tee, and Thomas just crushes this one. Tom does the same. Kirk's drive starts down the left side of the fairway. We'll have to watch that one. Sam steps up and booms the drive as well. The Thanks. young bucks feeling no pressure. Tom will play first, and for the first time all day, he misses this one. See, aye, folks, aye, aye, aye. they are human. Look at that. So bad. Kirk's ball caught the ridge and rolled down to the edge of the fairway. Certainly not what he was hoping for. Thomas is in perfect position, but it looks like that one down. jumped a down. bit off the club down. face. Sam is in a great position as well. Nothing but a smooth mid iron for him. Out of the bunker, Tom's got a tough angle with that ridge at the back of the green, and his ball Stop. rolls out more than he was expecting. Kirk missed the green right, so he's going to have to rely on his short game again. Thomas was right. His ball did jump, and now he's got an almost impossible oh. chip coming down the hill. What? I have no idea how that ball stopped short coming down, but he's still got some work to do. Sam has a chance to win the hole, and even the match. Is it going to get there? So now Thomas Awfully has good his putt. turn. You made it. If he can make this tricky 15-footer, yep. it will secure the match for Team Lehman. Yeah, well done. Hey, right. Thomas. Well done. Thank you. What a good putt. Good putt. Congratulations, yeah. Yeah, champions. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, thank you. It was really yeah. fun playing with you guys. Likewise. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well played today. Thomas, good job. Thanks good putt. Yeah. Good thank you for... Uh, for playing with us. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoyed it very much. Yeah. Well, folks, here we are on the 18th green, and Thomas Lehman has sank his par putt. The Laymans have won this father son match for a cause, one up, as well as 10 to 7 in the skins. Who would have known it went all the way down to the wire? All I can say is, wow. This has been a fun day. It's been great golf. And thanks to Jill Mann Strait for being with me on the set and do the on-course reporting and questions as well. Of course, obviously to Sam and Kirk Triplett, great competitors, and Tom and Thomas Lehman. Great advice, great coaching, great mentoring from the dads through the years with these two young men who are the young professionals of tomorrow on the tours that you'll see them on. All right, as a winners, Tom Lehman and Thomas, uh, what's your word on the match today with the triplets? Well, what an honor to play uh, with these two guys. Um, you know, first of all, for Thomas and I to play together is so much fun, but to play with Kirk and his son, um, you know, Kirk Triplett is one of the guys who would be there in a, in a pinch no matter what happens and where it's at if you needed him. Uh, is so much integrity, is so well respected on the tour. So to be to spend the day with him and Sam, uh, really, really a lot of fun. And um, on their home course to beat him one up is even better. <laughs> uh, there you go, there you go. That's right, this was your pick. I forgot about that. Thomas, what's the word from the young man coming up um, as a professional? You know, this is a great, just a really competitive day, and I, I'm really glad I was able to play with these guys. They're amazing people, amazing golfers, and it's just every every time I can go out and play a competition, it's it's always a plus. So it was great. And Sam Triplett, uh, you you scored early and quick. Yeah. You got that first uh, uh, skin on the number two, and here we are at the end, and you just came up one short. Tell me about it. Yeah, I just came up a little short today, but they played great, made a lot of birdies, and I think we had a lot of fun. So. It was just a great day to be out and spend time with our dads, and I know everybody's looking forward to doing that today, so I really enjoyed it. Kirk, what about it? Well, I want to echo Tom's sentiments about it's a pleasure for us to do anything with the Lehman family. So I've been around golf and around them for 35, 40 years, so it's been, uh, been a lot of fun uh, to watch our families grow up together and uh, now to have uh, 
see a little bit of competitive juices come yeah. out of the old Tom Lehman on 17 yeah. when the match was all square and the door mm -hmm. was open and he knocked a seven iron in there to two feet. <laughs> so uh, we were talking at one point today about uh, can you tell when a guy's a major champion or not? I think we could tell on 17. Is that how it is? Yeah, that a lot more. And I've heard you two men have either never or only once or twice ever living right here in Phoenix near each other, played golf together out here. Yeah, I think that might speak more to what we do when we come home from the tour than <laughs> yeah. about our like or dislike for each other. Of course. So, uh, <laughs> of course. Uh, we seem to have uh, uh, a well lot said. of other responsibilities when we come home. So uh, All right. uh, again, it was a pleasure to be here and thanks to Camelback for having us and uh, yes, absolutely. great to support the local charities. Marriott Camelback Golf Resort, beautiful shape today at this wonderful course and the Outlaw Tour for organizing and putting all of this together. And of course, our sponsors, Without them, this simply could not have happened. And of course, the great beneficiaries for all of it is besides the camaraderie, the friendship, the fun, and the great golf we've seen today, folks, we've got Elevate Phoenix and we have Feeding Phoenix uh, as the two charities, as the beneficiaries of this great match. We're gonna do this again very soon. swing. Track your performance with accurate real-time feedback. Play championship courses anytime, rain or shine, day or night. SkyTrack, the affordable professional grade launch monitor and simulator designed for the pro in all of us. Phoenix youth face barriers daily that prevent them from transitioning into well-adjusted young adults. Many face poverty, family instability, and much more. The longer these youth go without help, the less likely they are to become successful adults. The Elevate Phoenix model has proven effective in changing these trends and transforming the lives of our city youth. So we invite you to join us to elevate our future leaders.